Okay, so with this case that I was sent, this is the carbon fiber textured folio with removable Bluetooth keyboard, okay? So just wanna show you what it looks like. And it's on the website and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, and again, it's the same iPad 2, iPad 3, it'll fit both. And just on the back, I'll show you exactly what it's used for and how you can use it. And we'll go into detail on how it looks in a second. You also get instructions of how to use your Zag Folio, how to hook everything up as far as the Bluetooth and the battery. The keyboard is rechargeable with a USB cord and it goes into a little list of details on how you can use the functions to operate your iPad. Okay, so I'm still playing with these functions. Um, I don't have many apps that I would need to cut, copy and paste, but again, those are there for you if you don't feel like touching the screen. So um, let me show you what the USB looks like. Just a little cute USB, and I'll show you how to um, hook that up as well. All right, so let's go to the product. And again, this is how the product looks. It looks like this. So you got a fully functioning keyboard with all of the, the shortcuts listed on the top row. You have your Bluetooth capability, and again, the directions will show you how to hook this up. Now, the neat thing about this is that the keyboard does slide out and this is where you would plug up your USB and plug it just into your regular computer okay so this could very well serve as your case but I find it um, just better to slide your keyboard in the nodules there and it's very secure it's not gonna come out or anything like that so that's your keyboard there and for the instructions on how to slide your iPad I'm going to grab my iPad here, and what you're going to do is kind of bend it because it has a fold in it. So the ergonomic and the, the makeup of this is really, really unique because it folds where it needs to fold, bends where it needs to bend, okay? So you're going to fold this and kind of lift up on that tab and just slide your iPad in, okay? Once your iPad is slid, slid in, there's a groove right on top here that you would just sit your iPad in. And there you have a fully functioning keyboard for your iPad. Very sturdy and everything like that. So when you go to close this, you can actually just snap your iPad case closed. And now you have a fully functioning, you'll have your camera capability. You can get to your ports here. You can even charge it in this case with it like this. So again, this case design, it said iPad 2 on the packaging, but this is my iPad 3 that fits comfortably in this. Okay. So I think this is a really, really nifty idea. So going back, let's play with a few. And this device is on already because I've been playing with it. So I can go in and put in my password, get into my function. And again, we're already at the website, so just to show you that they have them listed for the Apple iPod, iPad 3 keyboard case. And these are going to retail for $99.99, but the cool thing is they have a variety of colors. So you can get them in blue. I was looking at the red one, but you know, can't be choosy. That's a hot one as well. Or you can get them in all leather. So they have a variety. You can also choose whether or not you want your keyboard to be all black. My keyboard that I was sent is silver and black. Um, and again, I'm not picky when it comes to that either. So you can either get an all silver keyboard or you can, here's your choices of the, duh, of the, <laughs> the keyboard colors that you can choose from. And this shipped to me fairly well by the company. So I'm very, very impressed with that. So they also offer skins and cases and a variety of things on the Zag website. So make sure you can stop on over there and pick out something for your new iPad. All right, so now removing this is fairly easy. And if I didn't wanna close that, there's buttons that I can choose here to go directly back to my home screen. Again, if I wanted to get to my pictures, that's my new doggy that I'm getting. I'm getting a puppy actually, so. And it goes through all things all thing like that. But if you wanna go back to your home, just hit your home key and it's prompted me to put my password back in again, so I did that. You can also adjust your volume. And if I wanted to go to my YouTube channel, and there I am looking crazy as I don't know what happened there. So if I wanted to go to my videos and 
watch some of my recent videos there. So you still have to kind of um, interact with your iPad. But a few of these buttons and controls will save you that typing. You know, if you have a long report to type or if you're doing something for school or business. So you'll be able to go and just type your type everything you need on there. So going back to my home screen, which is my favorite, my favorite button. You can pick and choose and play with all of your. All right. So there again, you have um, every feature I wanted to show you guys. So. Make sure you stop on over if this is a product that is of interest to you. Make sure you stop over to Zag.com. That's Z-A-G-G dot com. And check out what they have to offer as far as accessories and cool little nifty ideas for your new iPads, old iPads, iPad 1s, iPad 2s, and now the iPad 3. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Um, I'm kind of new to doing the tech aspect of reviews, but as I said, as I get more and more... Um, items for my iPad, whether or not they're sent or whether or not I choose to buy them, um, I'll be glad to review them here on my channel. So thank you so much for watching YouTube. Bye.